All right, hello everyone. Rob here with ScrappyDo.com, and uh, we're, we're going to be going over uh, a little bit of the the new features that were introduced in today's release of Cricut Design Space, which is on April third, two thousand eighteen. Uh, you can see the laundry list here. Uh, some of the new features. One of the the big things that came out of this release is obviously the the curved text. Uh, that that's the one that everybody has been waiting for. Uh, that people have been going to other programs, other websites in order to curve their tests text anyway. So uh, we'll show you how to do that. Uh, we also have the project favoriting. We have project sharing. And then uh, we have the more button. We'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, community project ribbon. And then, uh, you know, another way to uh, access my project links. Okay. So we'll, we'll discuss all these in here, but we'll hit the big one first, which is, uh, you know, we're going to go ahead and talk about the curved text. So uh, basically, anything that is text related uh, that you uh, actually type out on Cricut Design Space would be able to qualify for the the curve right here. And uh, we'll, we'll see some of the effects that we can do here with it. So the curve, basically, you can do uh, a top arch, okay? You can do a bottom arch, and then you are able to do uh, a complete circle. So uh, you know, drag the the slider there all the way to the right. And you'll you'll get a full circle. Now, uh, some folks are asking, is there are there ways to sort of uh, you know move the text or you know text spacing and stuff? Uh, you are able to do this and still retain the right uh, to uh, you know retype some text because uh, you know if you are to ungroup this by any means, you would not be able to double click and uh, and add in text. Okay, so you can see that even adding in the in the text here, it still follows the the diameter that we chose before, and it just continued to add in there. So how do we put uh, some some spacing in between the text? Uh, you, you are able to do this right here with the uh, horizontal spacing of the text. So uh, you can see that the spacing in between the letters are are getting bigger and getting smaller. Now some things that you need to know ab about this anyway is you're not able to do this with um, with multiple lines. So you can see that this is multi-line, and if I select on it, uh, the curve option is now gone. So we're not able to do that. Uh, if you are looking to do like one on the top, one on the bottom, uh, you, you absolutely can. You're just going to have to do uh, it in two separate text blocks. Okay, so two separate text groupings here, and. I'm going to go ahead and choose this. I'm going to go ahead and choose the curve. We are able to select a value here. So I'm going to do 4.5, hit the tab button, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and do this one, and we're just going to do a minus 4.5 so we can get uh, the same size and as if it were to go around a circle, okay? So let me go ahead and, and do that. Now, uh, the spacing, uh, just to show you where, where that diameter comes from, the 4.5, I'm just going to go ahead and bring in a shape here, the circle. And I'm going to go ahead and change the size to 4.5 here. And now we have a 4.5 circle. And you can see where Design Space gets uh, the lettering from, anyway, is where the letters will rest on top, you know. So we'll go ahead and do that. And that, now we're sort of, you know, having the text on the circle. You can try to, um, you know, if you are trying to get the, the text in the center, you can try doing it that way. But uh, that's how it gets the diameter is from the from the bottom there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and talk about some of the some of the other things that are in this now, which is uh, project favoring. So favorite teen anyway. So if we go to the projects tab, uh, you you see the little star here. You're able to. Uh, favorite these things and you can see that up here in the blue uh, it goes to my favorites tab in the in the project category so if I were to filter everything based upon I have my projects and now I have uh, favorites so that's how you can um, you know put a little star on there and, and favorite stuff okay uh, now project sharing they said that they introduced a new new functionality, which makes it easier to share your projects on Facebook and Pinterest with just a few clicks. Um, rules still apply here. So um, I, I made this demo here of uh, something that my wife did. We had the the forks, the knives, and she she put this on some wood and painted it and stuff, you know. But um, anyways, we, we are able to click the the share button here, and we can share it on Facebook or Pinterest. 
Uh, it will ask you for your, your Pinterest username, password, and stuff uh, for you to share it. However, if you are able to, uh, you know, if you if you are able to, you know, log in here and, and save the stuff and, and share it, well, at this point, if anybody clicks on it and you used uh, an SVG or something that uh, makes the project unshareable, all you're really doing is just sharing the photo. Um, you know, there's no way for anybody else to click on that design and get anything from it. But when you do, uh, when you do share something, it will ask you to uh, create and, and add some details to this. So that's where this comes from. You're able to uh, upload the photo. You can make it visible to others. Uh, you, you know, give it a good project name and, and a description that would describe the project. Uh, you can see that it limits you as far as text goes. I'm really not sure what the rules are about this. Is you know, are you able to post URLs in there for people to visit? I'm pretty sure that they're you know, if you do type on there uh, and you put a website or a blog, I'm not sure if they're going to flag that or even allow that to be showing up into the the community. Okay. All right. So we talked about the the curve text project favoriting, project sharing, and now let's go ahead and talk about the more button. And that is designed for folks that have smaller screens. So Cricut has thrown in some programming that will allow those that have smaller screens uh, fully have access to all their tools uh, there without uh, too much worry. So as you can see right now, all my tools can fit in here to simulate that I have a smaller screen. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the, on the website. And now it appears as if I have a smaller screen. And... If I select the text, I have the More button here where I have access to the curve and to the bands. Uh, just like I have more options up here to uh, assist me in the positioning of the item. So uh, the More button is now visible for us to use if we have those smaller type of screens or maybe you're, you're zoomed in. And for those wondering what I did there, uh, Control, Shift, Plus, and Minus, or Command, Shift, Plus, and Minus on a Mac will do that for you. Okay. So that's a uh, standard zooming in on a, on web pages anyway. Uh, and then let's go ahead and talk about the, the, my project link real quick. That is, that's always been on this page right here. However, it is now a global link for you to have access to no matter what page you're on. So you can be on the upload page, still have access to the, my projects link. You can be on the projects uh, page and still have access to my project. So uh, they made it a quick hot link. Uh, it's, a, it's a global uh, type of setting now, so it will always be there um, for you to use and quickly access to my projects. Okay. Uh, the, the last thing here is the, the community projects ribbon that you can see on the home page. So uh, on the home page, if we go ahead and scroll down here, uh, we have the new Cricut community projects. Uh, you have the option to view all, of course. But uh, you know, you click on the project, and then you can click on customize and it will bring it in there. So uh, this person here, uh, uh, Kaylin, uh, she happened to share the project. She added that description that we saw earlier. And then, uh, you know, she went ahead and uh, shared this project with everybody. Now we can go ahead and, uh, you know, customize it and put it to our mat. Okay. So that is all of the updates that is, that's part of this release inside uh, Cricut Design Space for the April 3rd, 2018 uh, release. Okay.